I'm not ready. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Alright, alright, y'all, welcome back to another video. It is, we're going to go with a live update here to start the video. 2.18 in the morning, uh, it is Saturday morning, and we are going to talk about a new purchase that I had. So, you guys, if you guys remember correctly, first of all, some people think that we are going out of business. Like I stated before, you can't go out of business if you're not in business. We're not a business, so we're not going out of business. We were selling a couple um, different items, different assets to obtain another one. That's what you guys do when you have like four cars and you want to have one other car and you just sell them and then you get that. So uh, in case you guys are wondering, that's what was going on. But I did sell my cow trailer in the process of doing all that. Now we did sell the stacker trailer previously and we ordered another stacker trailer and it is kind of like on back order a little bit. Like it was supposed to be here in February and the date got pushed back a little bit. So that's why we don't have it. Uh, someone commented, it actually cracked me up because I literally, we, I made a video selling the stacker trailer. We got rid of it. And then Timmy had a, what, 28 foot? Yeah. Uh, a 28 foot, just like standard, you know, enclosed trailer, you know, plywood floors and everything and plywood walls. And someone's like, damn, you, you sold the stacker trailer for that. And we're like, no, not quite. We're actually just waiting, waiting on that. So then uh, I was selling some other stuff. You guys saw, I sold uh, squid billy and the gentleman that was purchasing that said he wanted to pick it up in a trailer and, and drive back with it. He didn't want to have to drag a trailer all the way out here. The only trailer I had really had that I could sell was the cow trailer. And that is what I sold. So I was trailerless. But guys at Dynamite Trailers, uh, Matt Zapp, uh, they took care of me. And I had another trailer in the works. So uh, without further ado, we'll click the lights so it's got like the lights on. It's nothing crazy. This is This is just the small enclosed trailer this is not replacing the stacker trailer we have a, a big ass stacker trailer on the way but it's being manufactured this is the replacement for the cow trailer and i would say it is an upgrade it is a 32 foot vintage outlaw from the guys at dynamite and uh, matt zap and it's got a bunch of really cool trick stuff that we did um it's got some like one-off stuff and this is a huge upgrade from the 20 foot enclosed trailer that i had so uh i'm gonna turn it around so we get the lights on we'll go over a couple different features of it and uh and i love it i've been telling with it um i will say it is a 32 foot it does have the extended tongue so we can pull it behind the toter um if you don't have a car up front it does kind of tow shitty because you have all the weight in the back and uh yes so just keep that in mind if you like load it i got this trailer so i can literally take a smart car and a race car to a track and not have to take a big ass stacker trailer so um we'll take a look at this thing Um, 32 foot vintage outlaw as you can see the configuration of it is uh, it's slightly different from like what our stacker was our stacker was a 32 foot with l-shaped cabinet what we did on this one is we did not opt for the l-shaped cabinet we just have the cabinets and uh, countertop over here what this does it gives us a little bit more room if we want to put a bigger pit vehicle we're talking about upgrading to a Chevy spark which is like two or three feet longer than a smart car Gives you the ability to do it. Uh, our other stacker that we got is a 36 foot. So it already has that stuff built in. You can put the L-shaped cabinet, you got the extra space. Uh, but we got all the cabinets here. It's got the rubberized top on it. Uh, it's got the cabinets up here and uh, it's got your outlets, uh, generator door on the outside. Um, the guys at Dynamite and Matt Zap, uh, they really hooked it up with this stuff. Uh, if you guys look at the floor, the floor is something different. This is a epoxy poured floor so it kind of has like this like marble look to it uh, so when they got it uh came in it was just a bare floor went with the epoxy floor and then they put the uh, diamond plate on the trailer door and where the vehicle sits so i like this a lot because oh, oh. you can get a go off in the middle of my video huh we need to go bust that ass they got the caprice here Break out the third gen. Oh, oh, they don't know about that yet. All right, so um, I like this floor a lot because 
I think maintenance wise it's gonna be pretty sweet uh, leaf blower blow it out uh, the rubber stuff is good but you get some like shit down there you get some trans fluid you get some oil everything kind of sticks to it here uh, it wipes up a whole lot better and I think it looks sweet it is just it's definitely a whole lot different look than anything I've ever seen in a trailer all the trailers I've seen obviously rubber coin floor rubber diamond tread floor and that's pretty much it so I like it uh, this one is set up we got some exterior lights on it out here as well and it is triple axle uh, I do have the other like I got the fancy wheels like the ones that look like a spider uh, but right now I actually had to take the trailer early to go pick up a vehicle which you guys will see in tomorrow's video and uh, so it's got the steelies on it but I do got the black and machined looking wheels um, which are sweet got your outdoor plug-in stuff here so you can plug your fans up plug your vacuum up um, I'm stoked I'm coming from a 20-foot trailer that literally if I had to put my car in there and it had a parachute on I'd take the parachute off so now this is a absolutely huge upgrade and I can't wait this is gonna be great for when we go to races like let's say we want to go to Galat let's say I got Colorado you know it's um, LS on alcohol filled block you're not gonna be driving it back you need to push it so going to the track if I previously like when we took the black sheep down to Darlington we literally had to take two 20-foot trailers now you stick the smart car in here I got room to put my drum of methanol and I can literally outfit this trailer just like the stacker trailer uh, and I can have everything in here to to race so uh, I'm gonna get some pit pal stuff uh, to hold the pro jack so we got a place to put those uh, so they're not just flapping around uh, beating up the trailer my, the goal is to keep this one nice you know it is tough when you go out there racing all the time stuff does get beat up but I like to have nice stuff uh, I'm gonna put a toolbox in one of the drawers there so I'll have a small toolbox um, generally like when you're running like the big stuff whether uh, we're running the black sheep or, or some of the stuff that requires more maintenance I generally like wheel a toolbox in strap it down um, but yeah I think it's I think it's sweet so uh, nice clean white smooth sides doesn't have all the the rivets and everything in there so the trailer looks good uh, the trailer when it's loaded correctly toes really good you can't even tell it's behind you especially when you got one of those gen y hitches it's a good combo <laughs> uh, but yeah this one's nice it's got uh, your tie downs there it's got tie down up here for uh, whatever like pit vehicle you want uh, spare tire holder up there oh pretty cool on the ramp here come back here on the ramp now, I think I think this is cool because I've never like I've never seen this and every time I pull a car in uh, with the winch on the stacker trailer it always used to get caught in the little like valley where the door was but now it's got this thing right here and uh, this little flat so cars come in and out very smooth it's got a little uh, ramp down there as well and you can get some pretty low cars in here pretty good i gotta add a winch to it though because loading up cars especially ones that have removable doors you pop the door off um, or you can leave the door on and just hook it up there and just drag it up and strap it down. It's way easier than having like 70 people push it. So it's got little lights back here too. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that. Look at that. I like the amount of lighting it has. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's also, it's got the flush mount lights up here yeah. and it's extended height. I think it's like very important. When all, all of our trailers, even our 20 foot trailers that we get, they're all extended height stuff. I'm not tall by any means, but they just feel kind of cramped if you don't get the extended height. So. Wes, here you're taller. Come in here. Look at, this. Look at that. Looks like an eight foot ceiling. Can't can't go wrong there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this thing. Uh, the guys at Dynamite Trailers absolutely knocked out the park. And Matt Zap, Matt Zap, and those guys um, put the we'll call it a Zap floor. They put the floor in there, and it looks sweet. And yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to go racing with it. Uh, what I'm gonna do next week is I'm gonna get this thing all loaded up. We're gonna when we get the other stacker trailer, we're still gonna use these both, and I'm gonna have them both like outfitted separately. They're each gonna have their own 55 gallon methanol drum, their own pump, um, all the stuff that you keep in the trailer, uh, most like the tools, zip ties, like Zeus fasteners, all the little things that you need at the racetrack. What are some of the things we need at the racetrack? I what I I that, could, that's why you can't. You I can make a list here. this long at the racetrack of what I need, but like when I'm like, oh, what do I need for the racetrack? I cannot think of anything. That's why you have to have it in here because you don't think of taking it with you. You know, yeah, it's so. always like the stupid stuff. Zip ties, mm. some wiring stuff, uh, say, Holly number, sensors. The number one thing you always need is what you left back at the shop. Yes, <laughs> like the entire shop. I'll cram in here, but but I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, looking for another pit vehicle. We're looking for I think a Chevy Spark. 
it's four door instead of two door, but it's like three feet longer. But I think we got enough room now where we can make it work. So uh, that's the plan. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, race a lot this year. Now I'm excited about this because I plan to race a lot at uh, the 252 list down in Kinston, which is what, an hour, 20 yeah. minutes? Hour, 20 minutes, so not that far of a ride. Kind of tough to say, oh, let's drag the stacker trailer. I literally, I got a 450, so I can haul a stacker trailer, but it's still kind of a pain in the ass to just like take a stacker trailer all the time. So we're going down there with the Colorado, throw the smart car in here, throw the Colorado in here, uh, something like that. Don't plan on working too much at the track, hit the road. So yeah, I'm, I'm stoked, dude, I can't wait. So comment down below what you guys think I need to put in here and make sure I have it at the track. And uh, whatever you guys say, I'll just fill up. So if you guys say I need to have like, uh, a 200 set screwdriver or 200 piece screwdriver set I'll, I'll throw it in here so comment down below let me know what you guys think that i need at the racetrack obviously the simple hand tools but what are some things that would be useful to have that i'm usually like damn i wish i had this so yeah i can't wait we'll get some uh, i'll get some pictures of it outside and uh when the sun is shining on it so you can see how beautiful and big and white this thing is and then yeah all right, that's I approve. That's gonna. Nice. Wes is approving everything tonight, so uh, you guys got a treat for tomorrow's video. So be sure to check that out. We got a new vehicle coming to the fleet, and it's gonna be absolutely badass. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. It's is it 3 a.m. yet? I'm tired. It's close. It is 3:07. I've been up for 48 hours straight. I am going <laughs> to sleep, and I don't care if you guys think I look like shit or not. I probably do. I feel like shit. I'm going to sleep. We're ending this video. I'm turning the lights off. I'm going home. So will the third gen fit?